This time on Low Boost, we take our 302 swap 1966 Mustang for its first drive. Okay, to catch you guys up to speed on everything that's been going on, I got this 302 out of a 1971 Ford Bronco that we're swapping into our Ford Mustang 1966. We made it up to an AOD automatic transmission and it came with that cable that you see right there, uh, but it, that cable that came on the transmission just isn't gonna work and I will explain why in a second. We dropped everything back in, uh, got everything bolted up. We also did headers and exhaust and all that fun stuff. Uh, after working out some problems with starting it up, it did finally fire up, which is great. I also had a drive shaft made for this, which I will showcase in a different video. Right now, I just kind of focus on the AOD TV cable. I wanted to actually take it out for a drive, but I couldn't because you don't want to actually drive the car very long or move it very far without having the TV cable adjusted because you will blow up the transmission uh, pretty quickly driving it down the road. So I made my own bracket to try to work with the cable that came with the transmission when we bought it, as you see here, but I just couldn't get it to work right. Um, and I really wanted to have some good adjustability on it. So I went out and I bought a low car cable. Here's why. The original AOD cable that I had um, had this pin on the end of it and it just really didn't have any adjustability unless I took that off and cut it and this is all kind of frayed and jacked up so I just removed the whole thing and I bought a low car one one and done put it on so this is what it's hard to get in here but the bottom bolt here is open so this bracket there gets attached through with the spacer it's clear enough and then you got the wire going there the actual uh, TV thing and this thing flexes back and forth. However, I think I might add a spring to it just to help the throttle go back But we'll see how it does Okay, so some of this stuff is hard to do so I'm gonna explain what I did. This is a AutoZone bracket you can get Carburetor throttle bracket. Um, it was jacked up and pointing this way a little bit So I had this metal on the other side over here. I had to grind it down to get it to go straight on then from there, I was able to feed this on. And now the AOD TV cable goes here. I'm not gonna cut this just yet until I have it dialed in. Um, obviously you want full throttle travel. So the little thing that goes with, what did I do with it? What did I, I just had it. I just had it. This here has a clip. And on that clip is this included nut. And it's kind of a one, one-off piece. I'm gonna put it, I can either put it here or here and adjust it accordingly. I think I'm gonna go, they say do the longest throw, but I don't think I have a very long throw. It should be the same. I think I'm gonna do it to that one. Then I'll put my clip on and then we'll start adjusting. So with this there, they recommend putting, they want this here like that. So when you're in neutral and idling, you want it at zero PSI, and then when you stick the thing in it, you want it to go, you want it to be at least like 35 PSI, like right there. And then when you're done, you take it out. So and then when you take the thing out, it should go back down to zero, and that's how you adjust your TV cable. I have that hooked up here. I'll, sh I'll put an illustration to it on the transmission itself. Um, but I have it hooked up to a pressure gauge so I can watch it while I'm driving. shifting all right coolant's going up so when you're just cruising or in neutral um should be zero and then when it wants to shift here it shifts 
there. It's downshifting. A little fat. I have to adjust the timing. more things I had to touch up on the car. The relay that was included in this radiator, I had to jump the two of them together in order for it to get signal. Now it does. We got that. I still want to adjust my TV cable a little bit more. I got to drive it more. Uh, I got to get an air cleaner for it. All in all, Sounds pretty good, it's idling good. I gotta get it aligned for sure, maybe replace a ball joint in the back, cause you see the camber's off. So it definitely needs an alignment. Uh, I'm gonna mount the gauges up, some other stuff. Gonna take that off the for the TV cable. Uh, once, I'm gonna leave it on for a little while longer, I might mount it in the car. But um, I do still wanna adjust it more, so as I adjust it, I wanna watch the TV cable. So we're gonna do that. Uh, guys, the car is running good. A lot of stuff I still want to do to it, so make sure you guys follow along. It's always a great feeling to actually get a car running and driving and drive it down the street for the first time. So if you've ever done something like this before, that first voyage, that maiden voyage, feels awesome. And I love it every time. It's so rewarding when you finally complete something and get it to work. But there's a lot of work still to be done with this, so make sure you guys follow along. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.